The Canadian Card Collector here, and welcome back to day 136 of your daily deck review. And the deck that we're taking a look at today is the Bicycle Glider Back Playing Cards. So, with no further ado, let's take a look and see what we get. Here we have the Bicycle Glider Back Playing Cards here in the standard glossy finish tuck box here. And it is a white finish tuck box here with some blue accents. You got the bicycle logo here in blue. Then you got glider back playing cards here. You got a picture of a paper airplane here with a little circle design with some more like kind of like airplanes around it. And you got two in the corner down here. And it is in a blue and white colorway here with a blue like border going around. On the side you got the United States Playing Card Company. The other side says Air Cushion Finish made in the USA, and they both had like this kind of like origami kind of like little design here on the, on the sides there. On the bottom, you got the Penguin Magic logo there. So these are made by Penguin Magic. And you got a little bit of corporate information. These were made in the USA in 2020. And you got a recycling logo there. Then on the back, you got a sneak peek of the back design. Then for the seal here, it's kind of hard to see, but if I zoom in a little bit. It is a stamp style seal here with a little blue background. And then you've got a little circle there with the paper airplane there. And it is a white. And then you've got a white border around that. On the top, you got the poker. And then it says number 161. On the inside, you got on the inside tuck flap, you got a little bit more corporate information there. And then on the inner tuck flaps here, it's just plain white, nothing. On there. Now we take the cards out of the box. On the inside of the tuck flat, uh, on the inside of the tuck box here, it's just plain white. Nothing too fancy going on inside there. And now that we took a look at the tuck box, time to take a look at the cards. But one thing I gotta mention quickly here is the last couple videos you might have noticed my voice sounded a little different because I'm a little sick right now, but. I'm still pumping out these deck reviews for you. This is so enjoyed. Now on to the back design here. Here we have a blue and white back design here. It is a mirrored back design with the standard white border going around. And then you got like a kind of like a pinwheel kind of design here inside that circle design. And it is made up a bunch of paper airplanes there. And then you got a bunch of other airplanes here in the background, making that like kind of like square kind of like diamond pattern there. And it is a mirrored back design, so you can flip it around, and it's the same design in both directions here. Now for the cards you get with the deck. Here we get one a Joker here, which says Joker Joker, in its own font here, in the custom font. And then you got like an origami style kind of Joker there. It looks like he's a piece of paper, kind of like origami style Joker there, in the black colorway. Then you get an identical one, with that custom font there. And the origami joker there, but in a red and an orangish red colorway there. And now on to oh, and then we get a blank card with the back design on the back, a blank face. And then we get a double backer of the back design here. And now on to the custom ace of spades here. Here we got the custom ace of spades here, and the, there's the custom pip there. It looks like a kind of like an origami style kind of pip there, which has like the fold lines on it. I look like a piece of paper as you're folding it for origami. It kind of gets fold lines, so that's kind of what it looks like there. Then it kind of has this kind of like a line and pattern behind it there. And even the pips here, the rest of the pips, as you'll see, is that same kind of design there. And they got the custom font for each of the numbers and letters there. And then the rest of the spades here have that kind of like square, kind of like sharp design to it and then it looks like that looks like fold lines to it kind of like an origami kind of design there and that pattern goes throughout the rest of the spades here and then we get to the jack queen and king the court cards of spades here full they're fully custom court cards here for the jack queen and king and they're all origami style court cards here as you can see they're in a black and white colorway black and white colorway and an origami style there
Then we move on to the diamonds here. And it is in that orangish red colorway once again. And you got that same kind of like origami like folded paper look to it. And then you got that line pattern design behind it. And the rest of the diamonds here on that orangey colorway there, orangey red colorway, was that same kind of like paper folded like lines throughout the pips there. And the same things for the di the diamond court cards here, Jack, Queen, and King, fully custom court cards here, and in a red and white colorway. And you've got that origami style kind of court card to it. And the same thing for the clubs here. You've got that same, like, folded, jagged, kind of, like, paper look to it for the pips there. And the Jack, Queen, and King of clubs here are in that black and white colorway. And they're fully custom court cards, once again, in that origami style. And then the rest of the clubs here are, like, the same as the diamonds and the spades. With that kind of, like, line design through it. With the fold lines. And then you've got, like, the jagged kind of, like, corners to it. Then we've got that custom ace, ace of clubs here. Same thing as the other aces. You've got that like fold lines to it and the, the jagged lines and then that like line design behind it there. And lastly on to the hearts. The Jack, Queen, and King of hearts here. The court cards. Fully custom court cards in that origami style and in that red and white colorway. Once again. And the rest of the hearts, again, have that kind of, like, sharp design to it, with those lines going through it. And that goes throughout the rest of the hearts here. And then we've got the custom Ace of Spades once again. The same thing as the, all the other spade Aces there. With that, like, heart, with the, the heart design has those lines on it, like the fold lines, with that, like, line design behind it. Now that we took a look at the cards, time to test the handling. And first, we'll start with... The springs. Oh yeah, straight. Right away I can tell that they're nice and smooth. And they're nice and like light. Like easy to bend. Which is nice. You don't have to put too much pressure into like bending them. They bend super easily. So the springs are nice and smooth here. Now on to the fans. As you can see, they spread nice and evenly here. You can see most of the pips and numbers there. There's no stickiness or clumpiness to the cards. And they're nice and consistent. Like they fan almost the same every time. Now on to the Pharaoh. A relatively smooth Pharaoh. Not like the smoothest. But they still like interlocked and weave nice and evenly there. Now for a giant fan of the back design. Now time for that reverse pharaoh. The reverse pharaoh is definitely a lot more smoother there. And they're interlocked and weave nice and evenly there. Now for a giant time for a giant fan of the faces. Now time for the Riffle Shuffle or Bridge Shuffle. You 
You can definitely tell these cards are like more like a thinner stock because they're more bendy. Like they still work for bridge shuffles and riffle shuffles here, but they're a little like they're like faster kind of riffle shuffles there, because they like the cards are more like thinner. I prefer more of like a solid kind of card, or like a slightly thicker card, so you get a more like consistent kind of like riffle. But the more I keep doing it, the better they get over time. So there's not too much issues with the riffle shuffles here. I'm just gotta kind of slightly break them in. And they'll get more smoother over time. Now time for a few packet cuts. Nice good looking worm there. Now on to the one handed cut or surely a cut. And there was no issues with the packet cuts. They were nice and smooth. And they were not slippery at all. They did not want to like slide out of my hands. Which is nice. And now on to the dribble. It's a, a slightly lighter kind of dribble, just because the cards are slightly thinner, less clicky to it, but they're still nice and smooth nonetheless, and they're still fun to dribble. Now, time for that spread fan, and lastly, spread the cards on the table. Well, I gotta say, another nice custom bicycle deck once again. Nice back design. I kind of quite like the back design. Almost that like, blue and white colorway there. And it's kind of like a paper airplane style design deck with a little bit of like origami kind of like, like print to it. And they handle fantastic. They're a little more thinner of a card. I prefer like a slightly thicker kind of like stock of a card, but they're not bad handling. They still handle fantastic. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Whoops. Anyways, this has been day 136 of your daily deck review. This has been the bicycle glider back playing cards from 
Penguin Magic, and I'm the Canadian Card Collector, signing out. See you next time. Thanks for watching. That's the video. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.